Wildlife officials in Alaska are not sure what is causing an increase in bear attacks. They include two deadly encounters in just two days earlier this month. Now, there have reportedly only been six deaths from bear attacks in the state over the last 130 years. Jeff Glor is in Anchorage near the scene of one of the latest deadly attacks. Jeff, good morning. Gail, good morning to you. There hadn't been a fatal bear mauling in Chugach State Park here since 1995. But now one of the trails was closed down temporarily, and many people are steering clear just as the busy summer tourist season arrives. A big race scheduled for Alaska in July has been canceled. They are one of the biggest draws in the nation's biggest states. But now bear country is getting unsettling attention. On June 18th, 16-year-old Jack Cooper was chased by a black bear after running a race in Anchorage. Cooper used his phone to tell his family what was happening, but by the time he was found, it was too late. Just a day later, southeast of Fairbanks, a biological technician and newlywed named Aaron Johnson was also mauled and killed by a predatory black bear. And this past weekend, two separate brown bear attacks. Both victims survived. This is a lot of people very worried. Should they be? Well, it's good to be careful in bear country. And they can move, Well, right? they can run faster than any people. Than a person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rick Sennett is a wildlife biologist oh, yeah. who worked for 28 years at Alaska's Department of Fish and Game. We met him at Bird Ridge, where Jack Cooper was killed. It hasn't happened in Alaska to have two black bear attacks two days apart. Uh, there's only been six predatory black bear attacks in Alaska that, that I know of, I think, in history. So all of a sudden to have two in the course of two days is it's a lightning strike. Most bear attacks come from brown bears, and they are typically defensive, moms protecting cubs. Black bears stalking victims is almost unheard of. Sarah Leonard runs the Alaska Travel Industry Association. She is also a mom. You have a 13-year-old son. You're sending him on a hiking and camping trip, and you thought, I thought about it for a second. I did but... think about it. I think it's natural when something um, this tragic occurs. But knowing that it is so rare and um, these people did nothing wrong, I want my son to uh, enjoy Alaska. That's why we live here. Much of America's black bear population live beyond the wilderness of Alaska. I think one of the things that's gotten a lot of attention here is that there are a lot more black bears in the lower 48. People say if I live near a black bear, is are black bears changing their behavior. The more people you have in an area with black bears, the more chances there's going to be a problem because there's just more people. Is this us getting closer to them or them getting closer to us? Well, it's both, but um, certainly black bear populations have been uh, sort of expanding in the northeast. Something people are just going to have to get used to. I would argue that. I mean, if people want to have wildlife, if they want to have those around, then they have to accept some risk. Both black bears behind the predatory attacks were found and put down. The trail at Bird Ridge has since been reopened, though people are being encouraged to carry bear spray, which there has been a run on here recently. Nora? Jeff Glor there in Alaska. Great to see you there. It's already light at 345 in the morning, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it barely sets, yeah. <laughs> Be careful, Jeff Glore. We yeah. want you to come back in one piece. Stay away from black bears. That's right. All right. That's right. But a really great report to have yeah. him there in Alaska. Yeah, Alaska, that's right. Mm -hmm.